Pasti. And now, Royal Penny, introducing your 2023 Black Royal.
baseball team. Now, we had our first game got rained out last Saturday, so we haven't had any action yet. Is that right? Yeah, it's a much better game. It's our day uh, to have a baseball game today, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It should be oh. a start of a good season. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful today. We got a packed house here in Guelph at uh, David E. Hastings Stadium. Now, I'm not too aware of our uh, well and Jack this year, so, you know, what do we have to expect? Well, I mean, we definitely uh, should expect a good game. I mean, it's so early in the season. But uh, this is the second half of a home and home between the Well and Jackfish and the Quill Foils, in which the Orioles dropped the first game uh, by a score of 9 to 6. Their comeback in the ninth inning came just short. Uh, Dealt themselves a bit to uh, get too deep of a hole and couldn't come back late. But I would expect a good game here and a good response from the Orioles on, uh, on their home field. Uh, playing safe for a good day of baseball here. Looks like we are getting our lineup cards settled and our defense might be hitting the lead for the field soon. Now, if we're going to get to meet your Guelph Royals for the 2023 season, it's important to know who's playing. We have pitchers, uh, Sandy Baez. His hometown is Juan Baron from the Dominican Republic. He's had some pro experience in with the Detroit Tigers and with the Long Island Ducks of the Atlantic League. We also have Hector Yon uh, from La Romana, Dominican Republic as well. He's had some pro experience in the Angels minor league systems for the last five or so years. All right, bro. Are you ready? Let's get the noise for the boy! Number 2023, Clark Royals! Now you can feel the energy here in Guelph as the Royals take the field for defense. On defense for your Guelph Royals, we have Catcher number seven, Brandon Keys. Brandon Keys. We have first baseman number 22, Noah Roberts. Second baseman number three, Corey Morrow. We got third baseman number four, Darius Barless. We've got shortstop number five, Brando Lemieux LaRue. We've got center fielder, left fielder number 28, Ethan Hammond. Center fielder number nine, JD Williams. Right fielder number 17, Tristan Pompey. The DH is number 44, Mike Sassetto. And our starting pitcher for the Royals is Yomar Concepcion.
Omar Concepcion is from San Carlo, Dominican Republic. He is a 31-year-old, 6'3", 240, and he's had a bit of experience in this league already. He's number 11, Gio Morello. He's Guardians. Now leading off for the Welling Jackfish. It's Gio Morello. Just getting set in the box now. The crowd is starting to settle in for our Saturday afternoon baseball. The first pitch comes in. It is watched for a strike. All strike, strike one. Just watches that one as we are getting into the windup for our third pitch. That one is outside as well. Concepcion wanting that one back. A called strike. That even's gone at two and two. Two and two. The offering. Rounds it to third. Makes the play over at first base. Four, five, three, start the game. Rolling fielder, number 13, Brandon Nicholson. Keeping it simple as the second batter, Brandon Nicholson, is now up. Playing right field today. We'll see what he can offer. As Concepcion comes right. Pitches in and it is a called strike. Subsion with the windup. That one down and away. It's not bad. Big swing on the offering. It's not one and two. It's inside and is watched for two two count. Concepcion back on the two two count here. We'll see if uh, batter swings on this fifth pitch, just like the last at bat. Concepcion there. He is looking good to start the game here. He is so far. I mean, about 10 pitches through, uh, through two at bats here. So hopefully he can go three up, three down and make him uh, quick work right now. Let's see here. We got third baseman James Simbert. Smebert. Oh, all the G's. First pitch is watched for strike one. Concepcion looks to be cruising through the single now. As that is watched away for an even count again. Yeah, a little low on that one. He's probably trying to get to the corner. It's a little low. It's Concepcion got set now. Pitch. And that is hit into shallow right field, left field, and it is caught for the easy out. There's a three up, three down, and one the Gulf Royals. That's exactly what you're looking for from your starting pitcher there. You can't ask for much else. 
you know, a guy that resembles Alec Manoa as he's pitching out there, you'd hope to see Manoa do that more. Yeah, not too of a, of a season he's having this year, which is surprising, but... No, but we love seeing the pitch count stay low, and that's a nice three up, three down. Now, I'm very excited to see what the uh, Will and Jack starter has for us. Scott Gillespie. On defense for the Well and Jackfish, we have catcher number four, Sam Cocker. We have number 19, McCoy uh, Pierce at first base. Second baseman number six, Ty Dupuy. Third baseman number 23, James Spieber. Shortstop number four, Luis Jean. Left fielder number 10, Matteo Rosello. Center fielder number 11, Gio Morello. Right fielder number 13, Brandon Nicholson. And your designated hitter, number 15, Steve Moretto. faced off on Thursday in Welland, and the Royals struggled to get any runs batted in early uh, as all six runs coming in the ninth inning. And they really let Welland run away with this game really before it even started. And uh, right, from the, right from the get-go, they really had to chase the game and it kind of cost them. So let's see if this time around, you know, they can get the bat scoring early. Oh, got some runs in before the uh, third inning, fourth inning starts. No way you get to that seventh inning stretch again without putting a better score. Please welcome to the home half of the first for the Royals. Number five, Brandon LaRue. Shortstop Brandon LaRue up first for the well, Royals. Righty getting comfortable with that. Got some heckling going on in the crowd. As that has popped up to short or third, short. Neither calling it, but the third baseman makes the play. The left fielder, number 28, Ethan Hammond. Ethan Hammond up now. Starting at left field today. I don't mind the first pitch swing and getting in contact. Your boys are seeing the ball well. We'll have to see what he does the next time up. See if you can get on base here. Watch his first strike inside. Takes the first one. Learn from his teammate. <laughs> Didn't take the first pitch there. We'll have to bat now up, getting comfortable. The offering. So that one is in the dirt for a ball. That is now 1 1. Count. Looking to avoid a quick two outs in the first inning here. Pitch comes in. And that is watched outside. Right, 2 1 count now. Good eye there from Ryan outside. Dead bite on that one. Now he's up in the count, 2 1. One. Similar location, a little more outside. Sets up a 3 1 count now. Close to the same pitch. Curtis is just a little high and a little bit more outside. And again, you see him and not fighting on that outside pitch. Now setting in for the 3 1, you'd have to be thinking he's going to be aggressive here. As the pitch got set. And that is watched outside for ball four. This base runner of the Afternoon. The third fielder, number 
Rather, guy just take first instead of hit it hard off you. Now we got JD Williams up. Big swing on strike one. There's a good chance for Williams to continue his hot streak that he's had all season long so far through the three games played. He's just been on fire, so let's see if he can do something here. Pitch got set. Wind up. As that one is watched for a second strike. Yeah, down 0 2 in the count. He does have a uh, 556 batting average through nine at bats. He's played in two games. Ground side to short. Six, four, three, double play. And that will get the well and out of the inning. Well, and First inning showing for both teams. Pitchers are both really looking good out there. We're looking comfortable on a, on the day. I think weather helps and everything like that, but I'm not seeing a lot of jitters out there. No, not as many as what maybe I would have thought. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a home opener. And home opener, uh, packed crowd. You know, packed they, uh, crowd. You know, the opposing team obviously coming to the opposing stadium always isn't easy any of the time, especially on home opening. But uh, through one clean inning for both teams, really, I mean, one walk, no hits. Uh, just a ground out double play there during the inning, and then we hit to the top of the second. Seeing some contact get made, but nothing too strong, nothing too heavy. I think one of these balls will find a seam at one point, but everything's been pretty smooth so far. Concepcion takes the mound again for the second inning. and see if the Gulf Royals defense gets tested a little more here for the um, top half of the second. Well, talking about the Royals pitcher, Conception, he's uh, started in one game this season and he's got an ERA of 2.25. And, uh, you know, he's been pretty solid so far in the season. I um, haven't seen really yet, but it's something you like to see from the starting pitcher. Get that early swagger going for the summer season there for the Royals. Dr. Sam Cocker. Sam Cocker now up. Hits that real hard, deep to left, left fielder. Back on it in foul grounds, makes the grab. That one just about 300, but not quite enough. First one out of the way quickly again, making quick work here. Now, immediately as I uh, going into the uh, up off the inning, I was going to see if the Royals defense was going to be tested immediately. Uh, Range and play by the left fielder. Comes over, makes that look easy, honestly. Now, well, Luis Gene up. As the first pitch is watched down. Now, you gotta wonder what throwing the first pitch of the inning, getting hit that hard, does to the mindset of the pitcher here as he leads off the next batter with the ball. That one's hit deep into center as well. Sarah Fielder coming in on it. Again, Camp Dunder makes the easy play. Yeah, Two pop flies. And, uh, you know, not so many pitches there, which is great. It's a good look from the last, last start there. 
he only he pitched I think four innings, so this is he's on pace right now and he's off to a good start. I do have to say. Yeah, I mean, I think the word that you would use is just rolling. Like again, there's not a lot of uh, struggle a lot, and it's something I noticed with the. Um, well, the Jackfish pitcher, too, but there's just not been a lot of struggling going on. It's a very effortless looking so far. Of course, he does have a very effortless looking wind up and delivery, which is very helpful. As the first pitch goes in for a ball. Second pitch coming in, though. No. That one is hit down the left field line, but very foul. No play to be made. Everyone stands by watching that thing. And it's now 1-1. One, one. And steps on with the pitch now. As that is washed up. Two ones to count now. The wind up. As that is called. Right two on the outside. Yeah, Concepcion, a good pitch there just to catch it right on the corner. Just enough on the inside for it to be called strike. Yeah, it looks like he just caught the paint with that one. He's come set. Just watched. Okay, similar, similar pitch. Similar pitch, a little slower, a little more off speed, but watched. We'll count two out, get set. Got him. Strike three ends the inning. So that one was down, but just catching the bottom of the strike zone. Making quick work with not a lot of pitches. He could be in this for a long haul. I don't want to jinx anything, but he's looking good so far. Now, if we just want to talk about the facts, he's got a zero whip right now, zero ERA. So we'll keep it at that. We'll 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 keep an eye on his numbers. Apologies if our broadcast ends up cutting out for a little bit. We may end up reaching some battery issues here. Thank you again, everyone, for joining our Well for Us broadcast. Of course, this is our first one of the year, and it will only go up from here. I'm looking to avoid another three up, three down here. Of course, Wallens. Trying to put them through if you don't. Putting out the present for your Royals, the right fielder, number 17, Tristan Pompey. Tristan Pompey up. Lanky left fielder. First pitch comes in. Swung on and fouled back. First friend, Pompey. Looks to be hungry early and aggressive early. Fouls that one off. 